Alright, so I thought I'd do a real quick video on that P0606 code. That's the ECM or PCM processor fault. And basically what that's telling you is that the car's computer, like the brain of the whole system, it thinks something's gone wrong inside of it. Now that sounds serious, and sometimes it is, but I'll show you a few things I check before I even think about replacing the computer. So first off, I always start by checking the battery and charging system because low voltage or dirty power can confuse the computer and throw this code even if the ECM itself is fine. So I grab the multimeter and just check battery voltage with the key off, should be around the 12.6 volts. And then with the engine running, it should be up around 13.5 to 14.5. If it's too low or bouncing around, could be a bad alternator or loose connection. And speaking of connections, the next thing I check is the grounds. Bad grounds will cause all kinds of weird codes, especially this one. So I'll go find the main engine ground. Usually it's a thick wire going from the engine block to the chassis. And I'll clean it up real good. Make sure it's tight and not all corroded. Also don't forget to check the ground wire that goes to the computer itself. A lot of times it's just a little wire, and if it's loose or cracked, the ECM can lose signal and think it's failing. Now after that, I go check all the fuses. There's usually a fuse or two that feed the ECM, sometimes labeled ECM or PCM, sometimes just EFI or IGN. I pull those, make sure they ain't blown, and make sure the contacts ain't green or crusty. Now if all that stuff checks out, I'll go ahead and disconnect the battery for like 10 or 15 minutes, clear the code and drive it a bit to see if it comes back because sometimes it's just a weird glitch like a voltage spike or static charge and it might not be anything permanent. But if the code keeps coming back even after you've checked power, grounds, fuses, battery voltage and especially if the car is running bad like misfiring or won't shift or the dash goes crazy then yeah, the ECM might actually be bad. And if that's the case, don't just go throwing a used one in there without checking if it needs to be programmed. A lot of these computers need to be matched to the car, especially on newer vehicles. Some you can just plug in and go, but some you need a scan tool or a trip to the dealer or locksmith. So anyway, that's just a real quick walkthrough of what I check when I see a P0606 code. Start with power and grounds because 90% of the time it's something simple like that and work your way up to the computer if nothing else fixes it. All right, so that's it, just a basic rundown. If you got anything to add or if you've dealt with this code before, drop a comment down below. If you got questions, I'll try to help. If the video helped you, please click like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good day.